My name is Sheikha Aldukail. I'll be presenting uh, this research on behalf of my team. And the research title is Oral Health Outcomes Among Adults with Diabetes Served at HRSA Funded Health Centers. Starting with a little bit of a background, 20 years after the release of the Surgeon General's report on oral health, uh, and our nation still faces challenges associated with dental diseases. And to construe oral and general health as one entity demonstrating an imperative need for action that promotes successful, healthy aging. In the US, about 10% of Americans have had diabetes in 2018, and more than 40% adults have had reported pain in their mouths last year. Oral disease and diabetes disproportionately affect vulnerable, disadvantaged, and underserved populations. Healthy dis Health disparities surrounding proper access to dental and medical care can add an additional layer of complexity to health care of these patients. So our objectives are to examine the relationship between diabetes and tooth loss and to explore the association between diabetes and select oral manifestations among adult health center patients. Uh, moving on to the methods. Uh, this cross-sectional study used the 2014 Health Center Patient Survey. The Health Center Patient Survey is sponsored by HRSA and captures data from patients um, receiving health services at U.S. health centers funded under the Section 330 of the Public Health Service Act. The HCPS aims to collect data about U.S. health centers to assess the levels and quality of service provided uh, in, HRSA, in health centers and includes patient level uh, self-reported responses. Uh, the oral health status questionnaire, or questionnaire is based on the National Health Interview Survey, uh, part of the CDC. And the national representative sample included in this research were 5,524 adult patients over the age of 18 years old. Statistical analysis used for this project were multinomial logistic regressions to compare the self-reported responses of tooth loss and oral manifestations, which includes one or more of the following uh, conditions, loose teeth uh, not due to trauma, um, bleeding gums, mouth sores, and dry mouth among health center patients with and without diabetes. All analysis were performed using STATA and we accounted for complex multi-stage sampling design including weights, strata, and clusters to ensure national representation of health uh, center patients. So our in our results, first we were going to, uh, we did a descriptive uh, analysis of the health center patients and we found that almost a quarter of them have reported having diabetes, and the majority of them uh, with patients with diabetes were between 45 to 64 years old and were non-Hispanic white and attended rural health centers and had an average annual income of less than or equal to 100% of the federal poverty level at 60% of survey respondents. Uh, the analysis revealed that diabetes and permanent tooth loss were independently associated after controlling for confounders. And we can see the results of this in table number two, uh, where we see how the risk of missing all and some of uh, your adult teeth among adults with diabetes was two times higher uh, compared to adults without diabetes. And as we said, the p-values are significant, so this is uh, association is significant. Uh, in table number three, we see how uh, adults with diabetes had higher uh, adjusted odds of presenting oral manifestations compared to adults without diabetes. And again, the p-value is, is significant and the association is uh, significant after controlling for confounders. So in conclusion, we conclude how that diabetes disproportionately affects adults uh, in health center patients uh, compared to U.S. adults in general, uh, with, uh, which was 23% versus 10% respectively, respectively. 
and health center patients with diabetes were more likely to develop oral manifestations, such as loose teeth or bleeding gums, and were much higher risk of losing all or some of their teeth. Early identification of oral manifestations in patients with diabetes is a critical step to reduce tooth loss and improve quality of life. Efforts uh, to develop innovative models for interprofessional care delivery are needed to aid curbing preventable negative health outcomes and unnecessary future costs associated with diabetes and oral health complications. Uh, thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Again, my name is Sheikha. Please feel free to contact me if you had any questions or to contact Dr. Stephanie Shamut uh, at her email. Thank you. Bye.